Wednesday. It's funny. Uh, high 20s are forecasted today, so um, it is glorious. Look at that. Sun just came up over the mountain. I'll blind you with it. But look at that. The weather we've been waiting for. So we're off 100k ride with the parachute as our claim today. So let's get going and make the most of this weather. this cute little town we stopped to have a snack we're about an hour in averaging a nice 29 kilometers an hour although i don't think that will last much longer because we will we'll, we'll hit the climb 50k to go before we hit the climb and that's the end of our ride so we're saving the hard work for the end <laughs> this little baby coal. We're not sure if it's an official one. We are about how many hundred meters at the sea level? Uh, we are 628 meters above sea level. I think it took about 100 meters to get to the top of this coal, but we'll take it. Uh, D26 and the D99. And Nathan is navigating as usual. And it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We're fueling up before we hit the Parasud, which is straight out of this town, isn't it? We've gone about 70k and we've climbed about 500 meters, so it'll be interesting to see how our already hard legs um, get on going up the climb. This is what, a thousand meters climb? Yeah, it's 13k, about a thousand slightly harder in some ways than the one we did yesterday but we're fueling up, we're resting and we're going up. We made it to the top. Uh, 1400 meter climbing now. 92k and then just 14k. Is it 14k downhill? 14k downhill home. <coughs> Easy. <laughs> So 
So we had a great day out. As you can see, this weather was phenomenal. This is the weather I had hoped to have all week, but we did get one day of phenomenal weather and we made the most of it. We were out for the entire day, nice long ride, lovely roads, quiet roads, and then this beautiful climb on the Parasude for the uh, grand finale. So the Parasude was used in the 2017 Tour de France, and you can still see the writing left on the road from that tour, which is pretty exciting, and um, Nathan really enjoys that aspect of the writing we were doing, just knowing that professionals had climbed the same roads, which I think is the fun thing about cycling, that you can go out and do the climbs that the professionals did and ride the roads that, you know, famous um, tours are done on versus, you know, you can't go play football in the Emirates Stadium. So if you would like to see the complete descent with the um, Garmin stats on the screen as I did for the Super Beignet, please let me know in the comments below or thumbs up this video. It really helps me to know what you guys are enjoying or would like to see more of or what you're not enjoying even. So please do feel free to leave uh, comments and uh, feedback below. I really appreciate it. We are on our own tonight. It's our host night off. And so yeah, we are checking out the recommended places they uh, told us about to see where we shall have dinner. Quickly. I'm having my favourite steak tartare. It looks amazing. Um, Ethan's having a hamburger and now has food and the um, So yeah, we're um, to tuck in a well-earned dinner. Good morning. So we are trying to figure out what we're doing today. It's um, Thursday and all of the consecutive days riding are catching up with us so we're feeling a little tired. Not raining, it's fairly warm is the good news um, but we were looking at doing a climb and just debating on whether to do a loop 68k or just go out and st it's straight out of here pretty much so just go out of the village and up the climb and back down. Um, so it's Port de Ballet, it is uh, 1700 meters high so higher than yesterday but we probably won't get much of a view because of the cloud cover and it will be colder up there. So yeah, we're just trying to decide what to do um, and hoping maybe the clouds clear in the meanwhile. So this is how we plan our days. We check out this handy little guide from the Tourist Bureau which gives a bunch of route options and if you're uh, feeling really brave you could uh, follow some ATAP Tour de France routes from years gone by. Um, it gives you the grades and everything on the routes and there's some short ones, there's flat ones, there's hilly ones so yeah you can pretty much find something to suit um, yeah and they're all from here so it's a very handy guide that the tourist bureau put together so it started raining like really raining so this happened Tea. and we're just chilling out in the lounge Nathan's reading cycling magazines we may revert to plan B, which is to go to the um, thermal spa here in town. It's not a, plan, a bad plan to be, especially when your legs are tired. I think it would be the cure. Nathan's not sure about the whole speedo rule thing. He's not sure he wants to wear a speedo. But, um, yeah. But you're not keen on speedos? I don't know who is keen on speedos. <laughs> Any men out there keen on speedos, let me know. Um, this one's not. So, you are stuck with me today. Um, Michelle is having a little rest, um, and I don't blame her because it's wet and horrible, but um, I've decided to brave the elements and come out and have a go at uh, Port de Ballet or Ballets today. So, it's about a 60k loop in total. Um, I'm currently 26k into it um, and I think from pretty much now on it's going to be sort of a steady kind of incline and then a big climb up the Port de Ballets. Um, yeah it's a bit wet as you can see, not very nice, a little bit horrible but I'm going to just get on with it and go for it so I will check in with you in a bit. I'm at the summit of Port de Valles. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see. 
you can't see a lot, it's so cloudy, but there's the uh, the summit sign, or that one, or we can maybe do this one. Yeah. So, we made it. Yeah, that's a very difficult, challenging climb. It's a, uh, we maxed out about 14%, it's 19K in total. And at the beginning, it's sort of one to two, well, two to four K inclines sort of every kilometer. It tells you every kilometer how much you got to do. Um, and then after that, it was nothing below sort of eight, uh, peaking out at 14 quite regularly actually, which was pretty nasty. But uh, yeah, probably not the best view up here, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did it. And now I'm gonna roll on down back into Luchon and get a nice warm cup of tea. from going up Porto Bellas. Absolutely feels like that. The bikes are ready to fly. Some lunch. Ooh, cake. Cake and sandwiches. Uh, we have to depart for the airport in about an hour. We had a great trip. Uh, the weather didn't cooperate, but we tried to make the most of it. And uh, as you saw, Nathan was a bit braver than me yesterday at the top of Port Belez. Um, he really enjoys riding and the hills are there, so he wanted to climb them. And I get cold very easily and I like to enjoy the views as my reward. So I decided to chill out and relax my tired legs. Um, and he went and he enjoyed it and I enjoyed my rest. So. <laughs> Um, unfortunately today we were hoping to go up a little climb near here but again the weather's quite uh, unseasonably cold um, it was like 9 10 degrees this morning and as you go up it gets colder so we uh, spent the time cleaning the bikes and packing them up and now we're having lunch and hitting the road so sad times the trip is over but I think we will probably be back our hosts were amazing um, the free range chalet is such a chilled out relaxed place um, we were talking this morning at breakfast with the other guests of how nice that um, there's no TV on in the background all the time. There's a lounge with the TV, but none of us, you know, we're here for that. And there's no TVs in the room. So it's just a very chilled out place. And you have dinner with everybody in the evenings, which makes it a very social affair. And, and you get to know the other guests and talk about your adventures of the day. And I really enjoyed it. It's my um, first chalet experience. There's no equivalent in Canada to that type of accommodation and it was really lovely and the guests um, were lovely that were there with us and the hosts looked after us so well, Jeff and Victoria. So I think we will be back, potentially maybe one day even for skiing, who knows. I think that was the postman, how cool, yeah a little electric cargo, mini cargo bike. Very good way to deliver the mail. And here, here is where we've been staying all week the fantastic free-range chalet. Mm -hmm. 